How's it going guys, Bainey here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to check your statistics when you're doing a dynamic creative ad. And what a dynamic creative ad is, is when you upload five to 10 photos in one ad, and then you upload five different texts, five different headlines, and Facebook mix and matches those headlines, text, and photos or videos, and finds the winning one. But you wanna be able to see which one won. So you need to check the statistics of how this picture went, how this text went, how this headline went, and I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So if you're following along and you like the content that I put out, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and leave me a comment below, and let's just jump into it. So I recently did a dynamic creative ad, and it was, it was this one here. So I'm just gonna pop over to the ads manager, and I'll just show you very quickly that it was a dynamic creative ad. And dynamic creative is because it's turned on here. So dynamic creative is turned on. And if we had a, head over to the ads level, it is, you'll see all the different photos I've uploaded, two different texts, three different headlines. So Facebook that will then mix mix and match these headlines with these pictures and just see which one goes the best. Uh, this ad didn't actually go too well, so I turned it off after a couple of days because I thought it was gonna perform a lot better than what it did. Um, but the way we check the statistics to see which picture went the best and stuff like that, we come over here to the right hand side. You wanna be on the ads level, it's the best way to do it. Come over to the three little dots over here. Yours might look s different, but it should be over here somewhere. So just click over here, go to breakdown, and then go by dynamic creative element. So then we can see which element, we can break down each element and see how they went. So we just wanna see which photo went the best. So I use all photos, and the way I would do that is, okay, this photo here got the one sale, but depends on what other statistic I wanted to check. I could check, click uh, the CTR or which it went best. You gotta be careful about because sometimes these just swap around. You'll be looking at the statistics and then it will say one sale for this image and then next mi next minute you know this image is down here and it just swaps around a fair bit. I'm surprised it hasn't happened yet, but you'll see it. So it went, it got the second highest uh, CTR all. Let's see the clicks. Some statistics just, it won't show you. It won't show you the cost per clicks for some reason, but obviously you can just you can just work it out. If it's spent, if you got 63 clicks on the top one and it's spent $42, you can obviously work that out. It's about 80 cents or something like that. So there's, you can see from this one there, then I would say, okay, this, with the limited data that I have, I'd say, okay, this image went the best out of all the images that I used. So I want to check next, I want to check maybe the headlines. So I would come in here and I'd probably clear that breakdown just to keep it from getting confused. And I want to go to headline. And after pay available, got the sale, even though limited data. Um, let's see some of the other statistics. 15% um, off store world, uh, store wide got good CTR all clicks. Like I said, it doesn't give you the cost per click, but again, you can work that out manually if you wanted to. Um, but I would just go off the sale, even though this is limited data, so I wouldn't make any drastic um, um, decisions based off just one sale, but it, this just gives you a good indication. Obviously, you'd want more 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 data before you pick the winning one, but I just turned it off because I just I expected it to go a lot better, and only to have one sale for 140 dollars was not good enough. I was expecting sales for about 15, 20 dollars, so it didn't come anywhere close to where I wanted it to be. So that that headline obviously did the best, and then clear breakdowns, and we want to check the last one, which was the text. And the text that went the best is complete your purchase in order. So this one here, it gives you, if you hover over it, it will give you, it will bring up the text. So it makes it nice and easy for you. The ones that you hover over and it doesn't pop up, they're actually headlines. So I don't know why it shows it as text, but I only had two texts, which is these two here. And if you hover over them to, if you hover over them, it will show you the text. So um, complete your order. So that, that text obviously went the best. So if I wanted to, I would use, in a new ad, I'll use that photo, um, this text, and I'll use the headline that one on the last statistic. And there's obviously more statistics you can break down. So if you looked at uh, description, which is a call to action, you can have multiple buttons. You either have learn more or shop now. You can test stuff like that as well. 
the big three are, or also a website URL if you wanted to send them to a different website or a different uh, web page or something like that. But the main three I usually use is image, video, and slideshow, text, and headline. So very briefly, that's how you check your statistics on a dynamic creative ad and then pick the winner and then also you could make a new ad using the combination out of those. So hopefully that helps, guys. If you've got any questions, let me know. If you're following along, you like my videos, hit the subscribe button and uh, hit, that, hit, hit the like button as well for us. It really helps grow my channel and it helps get this content out to more people for free. So that's it for today, guys, and I'll see you in another video. Thanks, guys.